This week in Chapel Hill, COVID-19 numbers are rising and the governor has issued new guidance. Fencing was installed around the Rosemary Deck for impending demolition. The town will hold an initial public information meeting for the Estes Drive Connectivity Project virtually next week. National Night Out is next week. A new mural on the Chapel Hill Carborough border will celebrate black trailblazers who helped shape our community. A local bike share was moved downtown and Movies Under the Stars is back. For the town of Chapel Hill, I'm Rand Northam. Governor Roy Cooper issued a new executive order mandating state cabinet agencies to require testing for any employees who do not get a vaccine and urges other employers in the state to do the same. Masks are once again strongly recommended when gathering with non-household members in counties where spread is at a dangerous rate. Bottom line, this is a moment of rapid viral spread driven by a highly contagious virus finding and infecting those who are still unvaccinated. If you haven't gotten vac vaccinated yet, I urge you to do so now to protect yourself and your community. Getting vaccinated prevents serious illness, hospitalization, and death, and it slows community spread of this virus. Rigorous clinical trials among thousands of people ages 12 and older have proven that vaccines are safe and effective. More than 160 million Americans have been safely vaccinated. Find more information about vaccine availability on our website. Demolition of the Rosemary parking deck, the first step in the East Rosemary Street redevelopment project, will officially begin Saturday with the removal of the inactive pedestrian bridge over East Rosemary Street. Contractors for the town will close East Rosemary Street to through traffic from North Columbia Street to Henderson Street Saturday through Sunday. The work is being done over the weekend to limit disruptions to this area of downtown. Franklin Street is the preferred detour to limit traffic on the residential North Street. Parking will still be available in the Rosemary Street surface lot and the Wallace parking deck. The town will host a virtual public information meeting from 630 to 8 p.m. Wednesday to give a brief overview of the Estes Drive connectivity project. Virtual office hours will also be available for drop-in from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thursday. Work is scheduled to begin on Estes Drive from west of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard to Caswell Road in late August or early September. Work will consist of bicycle and pedestrian improvements, including raised bike lanes, sidewalks, and a 10-foot multi-use path. Join the police and fire departments, housing and community, churches and community organizations to get outside, meet your neighbors, and promote community safety as part of National Night Out on Tuesday. All town-hosted events will be outdoors to promote physical distancing and good airflow. We are asking everyone to wear face coverings at the event due to the recent surge in COVID-19 cases. National Night Out is held annually across the country. We also invite you to host an event in your own neighborhood to get out and get to know your immediate neighbors. A new mural will start to take shape this week at 111 South Merritt Mill Road, where Chapel Hill and Carborough meet. The mural will celebrate 12 black trailblazers who helped shape and improve our community. Triangle-based artist Kiara Sanders will be working on the mural over the next several weeks and expects to complete it by mid-August. The mural will feature an assembly of portraits of black community leaders, from educators and entrepreneurs to religious and civic leaders. The town and UNC Chapel Hill have coordinated with the UNC bike share provider Bolt Mobility to move a Tar Heel Bikes hub from campus to downtown Chapel Hill. The hub is on the brick area on the southeast corner of West Franklin Street and Church Street. The hub is located in downtown to test ridership and to inform future shared mobility options in Chapel Hill. The town is exploring additional hub opportunities with the university. Chapel Hill's beloved outdoor movie series is back for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic. Movies Under the Stars will take place two more times this summer at its new location, the Forest Theater. The community is encouraged to come together for family-friendly, sing-along films on Thursday evenings, August 5th and 12th. And this week's track from Summer Mixtape number three is Gold by Gallus Mag.
Find more local music free, including now four summer mixtapes released every Tuesday on the Tracks Music Library. With COVID-19 numbers surging, public health professionals are urging all unvaccinated people to practice the three W's. Wear a face covering over your mouth and nose, wait six feet away from people who are not members of your household, and wash your hands and your reusable face coverings frequently. The updated guidance also stated unvaccinated individuals should not gather, nor should they travel. Vaccines are readily available in Orange County. We have information about how to find a vaccine clinic near you on our website. For more information on these and other stories from the town of Chapel Hill, visit our website and be sure to sign up to receive news directly to your inbox. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Until next time, I'm Rand Northam. Remember, spread kindness, not illness, and thank you for watching.